Hello students, welcome to Bio Smart Academy. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the second part of the endocytosis. Okay, second part of the endocytosis. In my previous lecture, I already discussed about the first part of endocytosis where I basically discuss about the phagocytosis, where I basically discuss about the phagocytosis. Okay, so I hope that you watched that video. So, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the second part of endocytosis. Okay, second part of endocytosis. So, before I start this lecture, I just recommend you please subscribe Biosmart Academy YouTube channel and please share this YouTube channel as much as possible because this YouTube channel will provide you free online lectures strictly according to the CSI NET syllabus and this will help in preparation of your examination. Okay. So please subscribe and share. So let's start today's lecture that is endocytosis. Okay. So basically in today's lecture we were going to discuss about the pinocytosis. Okay. We will going to discuss about the pinocytosis. Okay. About the pinocytosis. Okay. First we look at uh, we first we know that what is first we know that uh, that what is pinocytosis okay that what is pinocytosis okay and then we discuss about the types of pinocytosis okay about the types of pinocytosis okay we just discuss uh, about the types of pinocytosis and after that uh, in today's lecture we discuss one of its type one of its type one of its type okay one of its type one of its type okay so in today's lecture our mode of discussion will be what is pinocytosis what are the types of pinocytosis and we will discuss one of its type okay so let's start today's lecture okay so what do you mean by pinocytosis okay first let's understand this okay see in previous lecture i discussed about the phagocytosis where uh, in previous lecture i discussed about the phagocytosis okay i discuss about the phagocytosis where i explain you that phagocytosis basically means cell eating basically means cell eating okay cell eating where it basically phagocytosed that particular cell that particular cell well it basically phagocytosed that particular cell and by the formation of vesicle it basically internalized okay and by the formation of vesicle it basically internalized please watch that lecture very important okay and in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the pinocytosis okay so what do you mean by pinocytosis pinocytosis means cell drinking cell drinking okay it is known as cell drinking okay it is known as cell drinking here cell drinking basically means what here the cell drinking basically means cell drinking basically means means the involves it involves the ingestion of fluid by the formation of vesicle okay that it involves the ingestion of fluid that it will involve the ingestion ingestion of fluid okay ingestion of fluid it involved the ingestion of fluid okay so that's the mean of cell drinking means drinking means ingestion ingestion of fluid ingestion of fluid ingestion of fluid okay by the formation of small endocytic vesicle okay so now look at the ppt so basically pinocytosis means cell drinking it is also termed as fluid phase endocytosis okay it is also termed as fluid phase endocytosis okay please note it down and uh, why it is known as fluid phase endocytosis because it involves of fluid by the formation of small endocytic vesicle which is termed as pinocytic vesicle okay so basically pinocytosis means cell drinking it is also termed as fluid phase endocytosis that involves of fluid that involves of fluid okay where fluid basically involves and by the formation of small endocytic vesicle which is basically termed as pinocytic vesicle okay second important point is what that all eukaryotic cells all eukaryotic cells perform pinocytosis okay all eukaryotic cell perform pinocytosis all eukaryotic cell perform pinocytosis okay and the and the process is basically occurs selectively as well as non selectively okay that is the uptake of material that is the uptake of material occur both selective as well as non selective manner okay as well as non selective manner okay so basically selective uptake 
ओके बेसिकली जी सिलेक्टिव अपटेक ऑकर्स व्हेन सॉल्यूट आर कैप्चर्ड बाय स्पेसिफिक रिसेप्टर ओके व्हाई इट इज नोन एज सिलेक्टिव सिलेक्टिव मींस मींस दे मींस मींस लुक एट दिस बेसिकली सपोज इफ दिस आर द सॉल्यूट्स ओके एंड फॉर दिस सॉल्यूट्स दिस आर द स्पेसिफिक रिसेप्टर प्रेजेंट ओके दिस इज अ स्पेसिफिक रिसेप्टर इट मींस व्हाट मींस फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक सॉल्यूट अ स्पेसिफिक रिसेप्टर इज प्रेजेंट सो दिस इज सिलेक्टिव दिस इज सिलेक्टिव ओके इन व्हिच for specific solute okay so, uh, so in case of selective for specific solute for specific solute a specific receptor is present okay a specific receptor is present so this is solute this is solute and this is the receptor okay so for specific solute a specific receptor is present that why that's why it is known as selective uptake that why uh, it is known as selective uptake okay it is known as selective uptake clear so basically selective and efficient uptake occurs when solute are captured by specific high affinity receptors which are also known as receptor mediated endocytosis okay so in receptor mediated endocytosis means what what that i already discussed uh, in by, by the help of diagram that a specific receptor is present on the cell surface a specific receptor is present on the cell surface that bind that bind tightly to the extracellular molecule that is the ligand that it recognize okay suppose suppose this is a membrane okay and suppose this is the exoplasmic part of the membrane this is the exoplasmic part of the membrane okay this is the exoplasmic part of the membrane okay clear and this is the cytoplasmic part of the membrane okay this is the cytoplasmic part of the membrane okay cytoplasmic part of the membrane okay now so in the exoplasmic part of the membrane uh this uh, solutes are present these are the solutes in blue color okay and for these solutes a specific receptor is present a specific receptor is present a specific receptor is present okay so for the specific solute when a specific receptor is present when a specific receptor is present so this type of uptake is known as selective uptake okay is known as selective uptake or you can say it is known as or you can say it is known as receptor mediated endocytosis okay receptor mediated mediated endocytosis okay receptor mediated endocytosis okay so why it is known as receptor mediated endocytosis because for this specific for this specific ligand a specific receptor is present a specific receptor is present that's why it is known as receptor mediated endocytosis clear next and the plasma membrane basically containing the receptor ligand complexes and then their receptor ligand complex are formed then they undergo endocytosis and become a trans um, undergo endocytosis by becoming a transport vesicle by becoming a transport vesicle by becoming a transport vesicle okay next so basically this receptor ligand complexes are selectively incorporated into the intracellular transport vesicle okay so that's the concept of endocytosis okay so that's all about endocytosis okay uh, i just want to mention uh, this endocytosis with the help of the diagram so that you get more clear about this concept okay because this is very important from examination point of view okay suppose this is a membrane okay and this is the exoplasmic part of the membrane okay uh, uh, and this is the exoplasmic part of the membrane okay this is the exoplasmic part of the membrane okay this is the exoplasmic part of the membrane and this is the cytoplasmic part of the membrane okay this is the cytoplasmic part of the membrane okay and in this membrane this yellow color uh, uh represent the ligand or you can say the macromolecule which need to be transported in the cytoplasm and this is basically the receptor which is basically specific for this macromolecule okay this receptor is specific for this macromolecule okay so in the exoplasmic part of the membrane this uh, this uh, basically in the exoplasmic part of the membrane this uh, this uh, ligand and this receptor complex is formed and this basically internalize internalize with the formation of the vesicle this is a vesicle and here this is the uh, you can say ligand and this is the receptor okay this is a receptor so this is the concept 
so in this way the basically in case of pinocytosis or uh, you can say this is specifically receptor mediated endocytosis the internalization is occur the internalization is the internalization is occur okay internalization is occur okay so i will discuss these things in details when i teach you about the receptor mediated endocytosis which is also known as clathrin mediated endocytosis and that part is very very important okay and i will teach you that part after this video okay so uh, subscribe this is by smart academy youtube channel okay and please share so now next move to the ppt okay now as uh, so till now i uh, believe that you got a clear idea you got a clear idea about the receptor mediated endocytosis or you can say about the pinocytosis okay now as i already discussed as i already discussed in my uh, early early uh, as i already discussed earlier that uh, first we, we should know that what is what is pinocytosis how the mechanism of pinocytosis work so we uh, now we know both of these things that what is pinocytosis and how the mechanism of pinocytosis basically takes place okay now next point is its types basically pinocytosis is of four types okay there are four types of pinocytosis okay first macropinocytosis okay so first of all i want to say you that about the macropinocytosis that basically when you search macropinocytosis in google you will find that basically these are undergoing in research okay you will find this macropinocytosis in many research papers okay so this macropinocytosis is not so much important from examination point of view only some points are important and that points are and that points are basically mentioned in this ppt so so when i uh, told you while i teach you macropinocytosis that note it down then please note that point okay so that's about the macropinocytosis okay and the second most which is the most important that is clathrin mediated endocytosis and this clathrin mediated endocytosis is very 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 important from examination point of view okay and from this question will definitely ask in the examination okay in csr dbt and examination and i will teach this clathrin mediated endocytosis in my upcoming lectures okay it need two to three lectures to complete clathrin mediated endocytosis okay and i will teach this clathrin mediated endocytosis from lodish so please be remain with by smart academy because this topic is very important okay third is cavioli mediated endocytosis this was also very important and last one is clathrin cavioli independent endocytosis this was also not so much important at was as because research is going on on this topic as well okay so in today's lecture we are going to cover about the macropinocytosis okay as i already told you that we will going to cover about the macropinocytosis okay macropinocytosis macropinocytosis that what is macropinocytosis we will going to cover this total okay so first of all you should know that what is macropinocytosis okay simply the pinocytosis mechanism is involves the same same process that formation of uh, basically first receptor ligand binding complex then formation of vesicle then internalization okay okay but in case of macropinocytosis in case of macropinocytosis the the material or you can say the macromolecule the, that are going to be transported as the name suggests it will be macro that is much bigger that is more than 1 micrometer okay more than 1 micrometer it means it means in case of macropinocytosis in case of macropinocytosis in case of macropinocytosis okay in case of macropinocytosis the molecule that need to be transported it basically macro is basically macro that is greater than 1 micrometer in size greater than 1 micrometer in size okay while uh, the other normal while the other normal types of endocytosis in which the molecules are transported the macromolecule the molecules are transported is basically uh, approx 120 nanometer okay very 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 small very small but in case of macropinocytosis the molecule is greater than 1 micrometer okay so that's why this process of transferring uh, in case of macropinocytosis is somewhat similar to phagocytosis okay is somewhat similar to phagocytosis okay 
सो नाउ लेट्स लुक एट दी पीपीटी सी सो मैक्रोपिरोसाइटोसिस इज इन्वॉल्व इन मेम्ब्रेन रफलिंग व्हाट इज दिस रफलिंग दी रफलिंग मींस डिसऑर्डरनेस ओके दी रफलिंग दी रफलिंग ओके मेम्ब्रेन रफलिंग ओके इट मींस व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय मेम्ब्रेन रफलिंग रफलिंग मींस डिसऑर्डरनेस ओके इट मींस इट रिक्वायर मेम्ब्रेन डिसऑर्डरनेस मेम्ब्रेन डिसऑर्डरनेस ओके मेम्ब्रेन डिसऑर्डरनेस मेम्ब्रेन डिसऑर्डरनेस दैट एंड दैट डिसऑर्डरनेस बेसिकली इंड्यूस्ड इन मेनी सेल टाइप्स अपॉन स्टिमुलेशन बाय ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स एंड अदर सिग्नल्स अपॉन स्टिमुलेशन बाय ग्रोथ फैक्टर एंड अदर सिग्नल ओके क्लियर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट Please note it down because if question will be asked from this macropinocytosis, then the question will be from from this point only. Okay, from this point only. Very important point. Note it down. That is macropinocytosis involve rho family GTPs. Okay, rho family GTPs, which trigger the actin driven formation of membrane protrusion, which is similar to phagocytosis, which is similar to phagocytosis. As I already discussed, that it was quite similar to phagocytosis because the macromolecule transported through this is also greater than one micrometer. Okay, so that's why it was quite similar to phagocytosis. So in this in this case, the Involvement of rho family GTPs. First point. Second point. Trigger of actin driven formation, and the formation of protrusion uh, that occur is similar to phagocytosis. Please note this point. That is, macropinocytosis basically induce or involve the rho family GTPs. Question may be asked from this point. Okay. Next, and the protrusion along with the ligand particle, the protrusion that is. Protruded part. Suppose this is a protruded part. Okay, that is this is a protruded part, and suppose this is these are the ligand particle. Okay, these are the ligand particle. Uh, suppose these are the ligand particle. Okay, these are the ligand particle. Okay, and this uh, protruded part along with the this is a protruded part. Okay, this is a protruded part. Protruded part. Okay, and this is the ligand particle. So. So this protruded part, along with the ligand particle, basically fuse with the plasma membrane. This all together, this all together fuse, this all together fuse with the plasma membrane, with the plasma membrane. Okay, with the plasma membrane, then generate and then generate a large vesicle. Then generate this large vesicle, and this large vesicle is known as. Macropinosome. Okay, this large vesicle is known as macropinosome. Okay, so, so simply, so simply this. Suppose this is a protruded part, and suppose these are the ligand particle. These are the ligand particle. Okay, and this protruded part along with the ligand particle basically fuse with the plasma membrane. Basically fuse with the plasma membrane and generate a large vesicle. And this vesicle is known as macropinosome. Okay, and this vesicle is known as macropinosome. Macropinosome. So this is all about the macropinocytosis. Okay, so, and this all for today's lecture. From to from uh, next lecture, I will start Clathrin mediated endocytosis, which is very important from examination point of view. Definitely, question you will co find question from Clathrin mediated endocytosis. Okay, so please. Students, please share BioSmart Academy and please subscribe this channel. Thank you.